Need a winning wing recipe? I have got one for you today. It's a sriracha glazed wing. Sweet and spicy and tangy. It's got pretty much everything going for it. The only thing that I might say is you might wanna like quadruple the recipe because the one and a half pounds are gonna be gone in a snap. First thing that you need is one quarter cup of soy sauce. And I'm just gonna whisk together my marinade right in my baking pan. You make a marinade, you marinate it, and you bake it all in the same place. Oh my gosh, what is this world coming to? You can use low sodium soy sauce or regular. I'm using regular. Two tablespoons plus a teaspoon of white vinegar. That's gonna add the tanginess. Make sure that you use the white vinegar, not white wine vinegar. A tablespoon of sriracha or other spicy chili sauce, and then a teaspoon and a half of toasted sesame oil. That's the really flavorful sesame oil, not the kind that you cook in, but the one that you use as a flavoring. Make sure once it's open that you keep it in the refrigerator, otherwise it'll go rancid quite quickly and you don't use it that fast. One tablespoon of sugar, and then the piece de resistance, as I like to say, some grated peeled ginger. Use your spoon method for peeling your ginger. One and a half teaspoons, give or take. Holy camoli, I don't think I've ever seen such juicy ginger. This ginger is so juicy that there's barely any fibers being left on my rasp grater. It's like a pile of ginger juice. It's gonna be really amazing. Add that to your marinade and then just whisk it together. And then to that you add one and a half pounds of chicken wings. You may want to quadruple this recipe, like I said. You could probably fit two recipes in this pan and two recipes in another. This is a nine by 13. And I recommend it, because this is one and a half pounds and I think I could eat a pound and a half all by myself. What about you? Turn them to coat and then they need to marinate for 30 minutes, turning halfway through so that both sides marinate equally. And if you'd like, you could probably do this in the morning and then cook them off later. Just keep them refrigerated if you do that. Once they've marinated for 30 minutes, 375 degree oven. Bake the chicken wings, turning halfway through until the glaze is reduced and the chicken's cooked through. It'll take about 30 minutes. Whoa, look how glazedy those are. I can barely not eat these. And I'm not kidding when I tell you that I can eat the whole thing. I'd probably regret it tomorrow but they're that delicious. Turn them once to get them nice and coated in the glaze from the bottom of the pan, and then serve them up. Don't leave any glaze behind. My apologies to the dishwasher. The pan might be a little hard to clean. There's no way around it. I think that you'll think that it's worth it when you taste this recipe. There's no denying it. They're spicy, they're salty, they're sweet, and they're completely addictive. Make one, two, three, or four batches of this for your next party and watch them disappear like that. You're gonna be thanking me before the first bite is even gone.